Every year, millions of tourists fly to the Canary Islands to enjoy the perfect weather, beaches and stunning nature. This means that the airports can get very busy, with planes landing every few minutes. Since the islands are hundreds of kilometers from the mainland, it is key that they stay accessible at all times. There are eight uh, airports in the Canary Islands and um, with a large number of uh, annual movements. Canary Islands is a fragmented region uh, far away from the continent with all the airports very close to each other. The problem we have is that when we have a bad weather condition, we have to expect that all the airports will be affected more or less in the same way. The weather in the Canaries is generally picture perfect, but from time to time, winds bring in sand from the Sahara, substantially reducing visibility. When we have uh, sand from the desert, the haze, uh, the sand from the desert come to the islands, usually all the airports are affected more or less in the same way. Lanzarote recently published new approach procedures that allow aircraft to land using accurate guidance provided by European EGNOS satellites. The difference between the precision approach or non-precision approach can be the difference between a successful landing or a misapproach and a diversion. The EGNOS approach appears as an ideal alternative. EGNOS ensures that residents can make it home and tourists can enjoy their holidays.